Hello, this is Justin Woodall, your trusted Athens Real Estate Advisor, and today is video four of our five-part series, and I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of financing property, uh, rental, rental property, investment property, and kind of how using that leverage can sometimes be a benefit for some people. And again, some people prefer to pay cash, as we talked about last in the last video. Uh, some people like the idea of financing because you can have leverage to purchase more property. Okay, so say we buy this same $100,000 house, except this time we're going to finance, and we're going to put 20% down, and we're going to finance 80%. So that means we're putting $20,000 down out of our own pocket into this rental house, this $100,000. Okay, so this same house is going to rent for $1,000 per month. Okay, so when you do the math, and again, this is a scenario, I'm going off of about a 5% interest rate, uh, but based on that, your principal and interest payment is going to be $430 per month. If we estimate $1,200 a year for taxes, that's $100 per month. If we estimate $600 for insurance, that's another $50 a month. So that puts your total payment each month at $580. And again, if we figure around 50 bucks per month average for expenses, again, based on a, a house that's in reasonably good condition, then you're looking at $630 per month is what it costs you to have that house with a, a loan of $80,000. But you're bringing in $1,000 per month from your tenant. So when you subtract the 630, that gives you $370 per month positive cash flow, which equals $4,440 per year profit on that rental property. Now, instead of paying cash for this one, you finance this one. So you only invested $20,000 as your down payment. So that actually, you do the math on that, and that actually gives you a 22.2 percent return on investment. So by using financing to leverage, you actually get a higher return on your investment. Um, it is a little riskier. You do have to acquire some debt, but you do get a little higher return. On so as you can see, that's a 22.2 percent return on investment, which is a little bit better than investing just the 100,000 to get the 9.6 return on investment, as we talked about in the last video. And also, by putting 20,000, you could buy five homes for that same $100,000 and leverage and use that. Now, leverage is always a little bit risky. Uh, so for some people, paying cash is the best option. For others, they like the idea of being able to leverage and use financing. So for each person, it's a little different, again, depending on your personality and your style and what you're looking to do. Another positive to financing is the interest portion of your payment is tax deductible. So you have a tax benefit uh, of being able to deduct your interest and also you're able to, in both cash and financing, you're able to depreciate the home off your taxes, which also saves you some money. And again, consult your tax advisor or your financial advisor on that. Don't hold me to uh, the rules of, of taxes, uh, but that is my understanding of it. So I hope that's been helpful. And again, if you, a friend, family member, or coworker have thought about buying investment property and investing, uh, give me a call.